and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Lux kicking off uh, our meme tier day today. We played two meme tier decks yesterday. We got three more today. We got some exciting ones here. This is going to be a Bandal City Heimer Lux deck. The person that made it uh, kind of wanted to play a different version of a Lux deck and you know wanted to build some kind of unique Lux deck with the Battle Academia um, skins that came out recently. And so we have a Captain Erica deck with you know Lux and Heimer and Bandle City where we're going to have some different created cards, a whole bunch of spells. Of course, both Heimer and Lux want you to have a lot of spells. Um, you know, just some really unique card choices in here that, that should be pretty interesting. We have Secession and Mobilize together. Um, kind of a weird combination of cards, but they're both proactive spells that cost three mana that we can play after a Heimerdinger with our spell mana. So we can, you know, play Heimer have our spell mana, make a fearsome turret, you know, like the uh, Secession will make a 3-3 three, three plus a 3-1, so that could be pretty nice. And just, we want to have a good amount of 3 mana spells, um, because 2 3 mana spells will level up your Lux, get you your final spark, right? You want, you know, 6 is the magic number with Lux, you want things that combine to be, to have, to be 6 cost, so playing a whole lot of 3s is um, a really good decision there, because then those will all uh, you know, you just play two of them, and you, you'll add up to six. Mini Morph plus Lux is a great combination. Mini Morph just in general is awesome with both champions. You have the 6-1 Elusive Turret, which is, you know, one of the best turrets. You have, you know, the exact amount of mana for a final spark. Um, but, you know, it's burst speed also. So if you have a Lux in play, you Mini Morph whatever. Now you get your final spark, and then you also turned whatever into a 3-3, and so your final spark will kill it and overwhelm one damage. So it's just a really nice combination of cards there. Uh, we can even mini morph our own Erika because if Erika gets, or uh, sorry, Erika, if Erika gets mini morphed, then the unit that you captured will be gone forever. So I mean that's something we probably won't do. But if it's like getting challenged in combat by like a Vi and is about to die, I guess we could just mini morph the Vi. But I don't know. Y'all, y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, that's it's a possibility. We also have Unyielding Spirit for Erika uh, to try to keep. Uh, the captain alive forever all right anyway let's get to it bunch of cool unique card choices um and let's just kind of see how they work out together we're gonna go play five games just playing them in normal that's what we do here on meme tier days while we uh kind of try out different stuff and see how they work together we're gonna have senna and elise so darkness control could be kind of like an aloof Travelers-ish deck. We're definitely getting rid of those two. Uh, I guess we keep Mobilize. Cool. Good draw, because that's a, a unit with Mobilize. We kind of want to draw some units right now. Alright, cool. That's another one. There's nothing to fear. Probably something to fear. All right, so I'm not casting Mobilize right now because, see, there you go. We wait, wait till you draw that one extra card. And now we have that Erica down at uh, seven mana. Augmented Experimenter, that's... Hmm, this is not good. Alright, so these two... Well, I mean, I guess we are playing a Heimer deck. I guess we could take an Adaptatron because of Heimer. I'm thinking maybe Equinox. Like, I don't, you know, maybe Equinox is going to be good against something. I think I'm just going to take the Equinox. <laughs> yeah, Loping making another Loping is very silly. Uh, I don't know, Reckoning? Reckoning could kind of be cool. I guess we can Moon Silver and Erica. All right, so we still have our three spell mana. Just do some trading. Let 
to get halfway to Lux level up. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Oh man. That's good. Great card. Despair is an awesome card. Four mana vengeance. Alright, looks like we're going with the other. Alright, so if we go. If I play Loping Telescope next round, what do we got? We got seven mana. We can make Lux cost five. It's not great. Um, tough call, tough call. I like Moonglow on the Lux. I like Aloof Travelers. I like them both. I think we'll go Aloof Travelers. Nagakabura sends her blessing. That's too bad. We must all make sacrifices. So this one got plus two, plus one, this one got plus two, plus one, so it's like the same either way. Really? They've had a couple of very good rounds in a row. Five, eight, eleven... Thirteen. If I block here, we take thirteen. I can make it nine by casting this. We go down to six. That's kind of gross. If we block there, that's not great either. I guess that's what I'm doing. You can definitely see us just getting burned out from Mystic Talk. So Loof Travelers were really, really good. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Alright, I like getting rid of Senna. Hopefully we don't get burned out by Mystic Shots. Next round we're looking at uh, 8 mana. We have Heimer, plus Moon Silver to get a blocker, plus like... Oh, that's terrible. We don't have any Nexus healing in here, I don't believe. Oh, we have Radiant Guardian? Yeah, we have Radiant Guardian. What seems to be the problem? They're gonna kill us. We're at three life. That's the problem. So I could save Vanguard, but I feel like maybe we need to save Heimer instead. At least they're not using that on my Nexus. So that's good. Yes, yes, again. Hmm. What's up, Sparky? Happy to have you in here. Alright, good hand opponent. Looks like Aloof Travelers is better than Loping Telescope. Um, but then that removal spell for Lux, right? Like, 4 mana Vengeance. Despair, man, that card was great. Okay, so we got Victor, Heimer. We're definitely going to keep a Heimer. I think we send Mini Morph back, but I mean, we probably do want to Mini Morph like their champions. Maybe we keep it. Hey, what's up, Misslehead? We just played against it. GG's. Very good hand. That Despair was awesome. Aloof Traveler is very good. And Elise. 
Police got me pretty good. At least did a lot of early damage. Good hand. Uh, let's go ahead and play you, actually. I was kind of planning on saving spell mana, but, you know, let's go ahead and play you. Yeah, I've been very impressed with Despair, just playing playing against it multiple times. Despair's, you know, maybe an underrated card. Yeah, wait for Afterheimer for the mobilize for, for turrets. That's what I would think. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Yeah, this Talizu made this deck. Talizu purposely put in a lot of expensive cards to help protect against aloof travelers. Um but it's still, it's much better when you have Aloof Travelers than when you don't. <laughs> and, and, you know, you had the Aloof Travelers last game, we didn't. That's the better place to be. So I could mini morph something, or we could just get our own Heimer started. I think we get our own Heimer started. Thanks, Missilehead. Good match. My favorite of the action deck so far was probably Action Taric. Which one of those two would I mini morph? I'm guessing Heimer. Yeah, I think Groundbreaking invention to date. Hopefully we can find something else to take out this victor, but and getting rid of that, getting rid of Heimer is the most important thing. Alright, so they got rid of my Heimer, but we do have a backup. Could have pre kept protection for Heimer, but I wanted to, you know, but I protected the um, elusive uh, thing instead. No materials, no So Challenger, Quick Attack, Tough, Scout. Definitely wish I had one more man and I could play Prismatic Barrier and Concerted Strike this round. Because I don't think Concerted Strike is going to work. If I play Aloof Travelers, they're drawing into the two mana deal too. I don't really see a line I really like. Basically all I got. That's why it wasn't a good play. Alright, so we have to like draw a mini morph. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Well, we 
we got rid of a give it all. Okay, that's a card. We're just going with this. If we are to survive, we must fight. We're going with that and praying. I get to use both hex core upgrades. That's pretty nice. Vandal tree. I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen that make the Vandal tree before. Okay, so we know that they have. <clears throat> Okay, they have that. I was going to say they have also a created card that costs six or more that we know about. Alright, so that thing having Overwhelm is going to be a little bit of a problem. And we got other ways out. Like, we draw another Captain Erica. That'd be pretty nice. This, you know, or a Lux. Like, we have, we have cards that can do stuff. In our deck. So the question is going to be, do we... You know, do we drop Heimer or, you know, now we can Vanguard Redeemer and kind of look for one of those and we can play Redeemer plus Acolyte. Uh, but I think that we just play Heimer. I'm thinking, I think let's kill this Ballistic Bot. Can you improve perfection? This thing has elusive now. That's not good. So they still have the random spell that costs 6 plus mana, right? From from one of those... Whatever they're called. Flash of Brilliance create a give-it-all? That's not bad. Good game, opponent. All right, now let's go ahead and try against Deep. This could be a good Captain Erica matchup. Definitely a good Mini Morph matchup. Definitely a good Aloof Travelers matchup. Concerta Strike just isn't gonna kill stuff though. Good stress defense matchup. I'm scared of that Lost Riches. I'm scared of treasures. Yeah, so you said, yeah, my plan, so you said concerted on like the two things could have maybe, we could have maybe killed um, 
Victor with the Concerted, but then again, of course, all they needed was any, uh, what's it called? You know, any removal spell, basically, to save. I wanted to go the second Dark Bowl Backlight and get, like, both of those in and Concerted, like, on an open attack. But yeah, I was, I was planning on trying that Concerted to kill, um... To, to kill Victor soon, but I was gonna try on like the open attack. Oh, they have another Lost Riches? Getting lots of treasures in there, that's not good for me. Luck, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Oh good, get rid of that shipwreck order. planning on blocking really? and then playing Vanguard Redeemer? No. No, we just save spell mana and then play Lux and have spell mana next round. Yeah, that's probably the better thing to do. Better not be despair. Oh man, plate worm egg? Dude, that's why I said I was scared of these. Scared of these treasures. Illuminate the enemy. Treasures are scary. I'm probably not mini, mini morphing next round. That's what I was, you know, kind of debating. Are we mini morphing next round? Probably not. So we'll get get that in. Three for Lux. Man, I'd like to play you, but not gonna be able to. Fearsome. Unyielding Spirit could be good for Lux for this matchup. Yeah, that's probably greedy by me. I was hoping they'd let damage happen and then try to Vile Feast and then outstress defense. Alright. Probably too greedy for me. We'll, we'll be fine. Is that a different... I think that's a different Final Spark animation. I've trained my whole life for this. See, told you we'd be fine. I think that's a different Final Spark animation. Oh, yeah, I could have stress defensed their thing. True, true. You dropped something. I dropped everything! Okay. Didn't get rid of Nautilus, but I will definitely take getting rid of Devour Adepts. Oh, man. No, I don't like... Oh, that's bad. So they put two treasures into the deck. That means they have a treasure in hand. Because they should have drawn a treasure, but they didn't. So one of these cards is a treasure. The yeah, so this skin has a different final spark. I did not realize that. If I play Heimer, I can mini morph. But I want to Lux him anymore. Let the light guide you. I want to get Lux in play. Yeah, so we're going to be mini morphing next round. Oh, man.
At least we didn't unyielding spirit Lux. And then only to have it get riptide. -ed. One of our mini morphs was tossed from my opponent's aloof travelers earlier, so we have two others in the deck. Alright, so now they don't have a Nautilus, so now this is just going to stun. Remember, they still have a a treasure, and so I could see that treasure being the deal five to everything, and them just wiping the board here. Yeah. That still leaves us with almost three times as many cards as they have in hand. That's so not the worst. Deal two. That's not enough. else we got? And we can take, I think it's either Cythria or Moonsilver. We can take a Moonsilver to help play more things. I like the Cythria though. Still so want that thing to die to Vile Feast. And those kind of cards. I guess it's not the worst open attack on Moonglow, the the Acolyte, and now it's a 6-4. Now we open attack with those. It's only 9 damage, but it's not the worst open attack. No, but I'm gonna go and play this. No, I think we're playing Cythria, because they won't be able to... I guess the Sapling will be able to block Cythria, but won't be able to block all this other stuff. Dark Bulb Acolyte getting pretty big. I'm impressed with Dark Bulb Acolyte. I probably need to play more Acolyte. And tossed that. They have exactly five mana. Oh, that went very, very poorly. I guess I should have gone with the open attack, the whole open attack plan. That went very poorly. Yeah, that went very poorly. We got got by treasures. And that Riptide that I could have played around that I didn't. But these treasures. It's gonna be their third treasure. So at the very beginning of the game, whenever they tossed one of those treasure makers, I was like, man, I'm scared of those. And then they had two more things that, to make treasures. Treasures are good. So those are all here so.
I think we're winning this game. I think this is going to be a good matchup. We're winning this game. Hey, Dark Fortress. Chat's predicting this one's going to hurt. Huh. I could see playing Gohard. So just always... I guess it's just always grab another telescope, but... Man, Hydrovine? That'd be cool, but... We should probably silence these... Elusive lifesteal things. Oh man, I'm sorry, Dark Dark Fortress. A double ear infection? That sounds really bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, they, that was the, that, I mean, they do that so they can use their three spell mana, so therefore they can save three spell mana again, so now they, uh, all they have to do is play any spell, you know, that costs one, now they can play Nami, and Nami's leveled up. That's what they're doing. That's a good draw. Captain Erica is going to be uh, very useful. I just want to save three spell mana for after Lux. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to Equinox, but also. It's kind of good to wait on Equinox for them to, you know, do a bu bunch of buffing and stuff first, and then Equinox. We can do this. The and I'm going to pass instead of playing Secession right here, because if we draw Mobilize... Then next round I can mobilize and then also play Captain Erica and have Captain Erica capture Nami. We did not, but we drew many more. anymore. Because I didn't give them a final spark. I definitely think that they are going to save Sparklefly. I, I final spark, Sparkle, Sparklefly, they save it. Um, we're going for one of these things over here. I'm not sure which one of these two I want to Equinox between Mentor and Sparklefly. I'm kind of leaning towards... I'm leaning towards Mentor of the Stones. I don't want to give them all those... I don't want to give them all these gems. We can deal the Sparklefly in different ways. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that their gifts from Beyond created Calibrum. I would have thought that they would have grabbed the deal... Or, like, the... The go grab a two drop from your deck card. Anyway, I'm just gonna let this happen. I, I do have some stress defense, I know, but I'm gonna just let that happen so we can Vanguard Redeemer. Alright. I'm 
More spark of flies, eh? <laughs> Alright, there's the Pale Cascade I knew about. And by knew about, I mean they always have Pale Cascade. And so I was playing around it. Alright, we're taking seven. We can take seven. Cards are so expensive, but we kind of need to play it. Huh. Thinking Lobing Telescope and Aloof Travelers. Let's see if we find Equinox. Yes, we do. You dropped something. I dropped everything. The well, the one problem with the Equinox here is I do not get to Captain Erica and Stress Defense next round. Probably casting stress defense. I imagine they're going to be buffing up this last elusive. Or, okay, they're getting another one. Oh, right, 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 right. that. We're probably not like dead if we capture this, right? They probably don't like have all sorts of pump spells. Alright, chat saying capture. Yeah, we know they all they have all have cheap cards. All their cards cost one or two mana from our aloof travelers last round. Please don't get Final Spark. Spell Thief is so good versus Final Spark. Oh, looks like they got it. Yeah, they got it. Or at least we take no Overwhelm damage. So that's good. That's on the 3-4. I'm glad. I thought they were going to do it on the 5-2 and give me some Overwhelm damage. And they just didn't even attack? Oh, they forgot to attack. Alright, I have exactly enough mana to play you and two spells. matter. i just playing this because it's first speed, basically. That 
That's a sweet Final Spark animation. I like new Final Spark. Maybe I should have barriered the captain. Dead. Let's just take one. And final spark for the win. Overwhelm. New Final Sp Spark animation. Oh, not new Final Spark animation for the win. <laughs> Toss. That should be the win right there. I called it. I knew we were going to win this one. After those first couple losses, I was feeling good about this one. Got there. All these, like, stress defenses, mini morphs, that kind of stuff. I liked that. But the loping, you know, loping telescopes hitting equinoxes. Those were big. And we got Draven Scion for our last one. This is a matchup where we're going to need some Minimorphs for Scion later. Now, the hard thing is going to be stopping the early aggression. Do we Mulligan Heimer? I don't want to. What do y'all think? Do we Mulligan Heimer? Blade Dance would work with Phantom Prankster if they block. If they block the blade dance and then they die, then it works. If they just if they don't block, it gets obliterated, and so it doesn't work. I'm gonna try keeping Heimer, but we could definitely get ran over. Oh no. Alright. Got a dark bulb, that's good, that's good. Obviously I regret keeping Heimer when we got it a second one. Kind of is bad though, isn't it? Yeah, because they have cards to like protect them from aloof travelers, or it's like good to discard. But they're gonna play like this four three. What's the chances of the four three is their most expensive card? If I mobilize right now and then pass, then next round I can play Heimer plus Darkness. But that'd be us like taking like an a lot of damage and so that's probably not the best idea because that's us taking a lot of damage um, alternatively I could just play darkness kill the 4-2 next round we cast mobilize plus Heimer. okay we're gonna play aloof we made it yay but our stuff did it oh I was hoping they would have to discard the 4-3 I was really hoping Yeah, I know. That's that's pretty fine. Get this transient as long as the body holds blood.
Jeeva Swan. I was definitely hoping to... Like, I was hoping they were going to just open attack here and then I'd be able to play Heimer. That was definitely the hope. I'm going to have seven mana next round. have a ravenous flock. Let's mobilize, then mobilize. Then bomber twins. that. Remember the fall. <laughs> is a good landmark, but I don't know if I'm, we're actually going to ever play it, you know, if we can, but if we can survive and everything, it could be nice. Could definitely use Radiant Guardian. I... Imagine that if we play like one Heimer, that the second one, the champion spell would cost two less. I would imagine that would be the case. certainly see just playing a third Radiant Guardian in this deck. Like, our deck's really slow and everything, and we need... I think that we need more Nexus healing. I think that there definitely could be three Radiant Guardians in here. Okay, so yeah, the Heimer just cost reduction does not happen. And... No Nexus healing out of those cards. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Okay. Getting rid of Captain Farron's nice. But it doesn't matter. Okay. You told me you have a spell. Go ahead. All right, so we got Hurt for keeping the Heimer, especially with the very first card after a mulligan being in the second one. There's some cool stuff in the deck, um, but other things just kind of underperformed. Definitely see getting another Radiant Guardian in here because Nexus Healing uh, does look to be at a premium in this kind of deck. Uh, really underwhelmed with Mobilize and Secession both. Even like Stress Defense kind of underwhelmed, um, but... They didn't really seem like very important cards. No, the Acolyte was good for us. I liked the Acolyte. Um, but I kind of just want some more cheap... Like, just some other cheaper stuff. Our curve is just too high, I think. Yeah, like, we... Yeah, like, our, I think our curve was just kind of too high. I just kind of want more of... Like, just, like, these cheap cards. Seeing Redeemer, like, is kind of hard to enable, but it's not that bad. But instead of, like, Secession, Redeemer, Mobilize, um, and, you know, like... Even like unyielding spirit doesn't seem too necessary. Instead of that stuff, you could, you know, you can get some cheaper stuff in from Bandle City. You can have your sharp sights to help protect stuff and help you block elusives. Uh, that that could be pretty nice. Um, you know, so sharp sight, pokey stick. Uh, where are you at? And then conchologist, wherever conchologist is, they can create. You know, just keep keep on getting more bodies that create spells. Trinket trade's always good. You know, there's there's other options if you want to go lower to the ground to try to uh, not get so far behind and not get out aggroed so we can get more bodies out here, They but then they keep on making spells for us. 
But I think I would definitely recommend three Radiant Guardian and maybe some strikes to kind of help out the Radiant Guardian. I don't like, Concerted Strike didn't look so good. I don't, it's, that's again, pretty expensive. Maybe single combats instead. But, you know, there's other options. All right, but there we go. That was Heimer, Lux. Uh, it's hard. It's difficult, you know, with with all the options there are available. But I did I did like the Acolyte with, uh, you know, creating the three mana darkness. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and uh, how it was growing with the Augment with all the other created cards. That's a card that I'm going to have to look at playing more in Bandal City uh, decks that just create, you know, that you want to create cards in. All right, but that's going to be it for Heimer Lux. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it, you know, playing it just a different version of a Battle Academia Lux deck. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.